Groups are a very powerful part of the tools available in Canvas. Groups allow for every student group to have their own calendar, discussion board, collaboration tools, files, etc. so they can organize themselves and work together more effectively. You can create groups manually, you can assign them automatically, or you can let students self-sign up. So if you decide you want to use groups in your class, it's very simple to set up. You simply select people from the navigation menu, and then you're going to go to group setup, and you have to name your group. For this case, we're going to just call it random sample group. And I'm not going to allow self-sign up, but if you wanted students to sign themselves up, you'd select this. And then you have to decide if you want to require the group members to be in the same class or not. And that really makes a difference whether you're going to let kids work across classes. So I would say no, I'm not going to do that. I'm also not going to do self-sign up, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to split my class into groups. So I have 29 students across all my classes, so I need at least uh, 10 groups because I want to have three students in each group. If you wanted to have four, you'd have to have eight groups. Uh, some would be probably three members, some would be four. Uh, but in this case, since I have 29 students, I'm going to create 10 groups, and I'm going to require members to be in the same section. And I'm not worried about signing a group leader, so I'm just going to hit save. And you'll note on the next screen that it says randomly assigning students. And then the groups are created. Uh, so here's my 10 groups. I'll notice that there are three students and there's a couple with, uh, there's one with two. But if I click on each group, I can see who's in that group. Now, if I was unhappy with a student that might be in a group, let's say I don't want uh, Trenton and Jack to be together, I can take one of them and remove them and then slide them to the group with two, for instance, and you'll see that that sh Jack shows up here. And that is how you would create a student group. Once your groups are created, uh, when the students log in to their Canvas, they'll see the access to the group by clicking on People and then selecting the Groups tab and it'll show the groups that they can visit and once they get there they'll be able to see the different uh, features that are available to them.